my sisters and brothers in Christ, great is our Lord. I'm often amazed when I visit your parishes and see the work you do through different ministries. I'm grateful for your dedication to your faith in God. When you hear the gospel proclaimed, you and I learn how great is our Lord. Jesus leaves the synagogue and enters the house of Peter and his brother. Peter's mother-in-law was sick with a fever. Jesus grasps her by the hand and helps her up. The fever left her and she waited on them. How great is our Lord when he helps us to see the needs of our sisters and brothers. The ministry supported by you through our Catholic appeal proclaim great is our God. You receive the Eucharist and become the gift of Jesus to serve one another. When we're here, it's the church. We make it look like a church, it feels like a church, and we just have a wonderful time in worship and praise, uh, receiving Holy Eucharist, and just building the community of people here in Lake Nona, which every weekend, you know, grows and grows. It seemed like a great experience starting a church from the very beginning. We found this to be a wonderful community. It's special. We love coming here on Sundays to worship. Hopefully one day, one year, we'll have our own building, but we understand that the church is the people. We are the church, and the church is universal. And it doesn't matter if the church is, you know, four years old, or 40 years old, or 140 years old. We are still the body of Christ, and we have got to give our time, our talent, and our treasure. Get involved, contribute. It gives you such a good feeling in your heart, and your spirit, and your soul. There's no way one person can do everything. So I have especially been appreciative through our Catholic appeal that we have gotten so much help and assistance from the leadership uh, of the Diocese of Orlando in all departments. From day one, we had uh, the cooperation and guidance of the diocese, helping us to design, find the architects, find the builders. It is quite grand. It is quite beautiful. When you walk up towards the grotto, you have a sense of peace, serenity. I forget all about what's going on in the outside world. I feel like I'm in heaven already. Kneeling there and saying a couple Hail Marys and Our Father, I am so honored to do that. It doesn't matter if you have to drive an hour or two hours. It's worth it. It will increase your faith. I can guarantee that. We're doing God's will. We're doing it for Jesus. There's many projects that we work on here in design and construction that without the Catholic appeal just wouldn't happen. I've always said that a community is not complete if everyone can participate. And I believe that everyone has a talent that matches an employer's needs. I'm proud of myself for starting for the first time in my life working, getting a real job. I'm proud because this is just the beginning, my first job. And I'm happy for someone to believe in me. Thank you all for supporting me and believing me and always being there for me and always being by my side. Never give up, right? Yep, that's right, never give up. And never, and never doubt yourself. It is our sacred duty as God's children to reach out and tend to those who are in need regardless of faith, language, way of life. We're all called to be there for one another. And the work of Magnify is precisely the wonderful blessing of magnifying that heart.
I had a massive heart attack just before we were supposed to move down here. We were sleeping in our car, and then we uh, we rolled into Jennifer's office at Catholic Charities. I said, I'm not going to have you guys in a car anymore, so come on back. I'm a firm believer in Jesus. Everything happens for a reason. They gave us food <laughs> as soon as we got here. I loved it. I have nothing but love for, for the Catholic Charities. The treasures of the church are the poor, the lame, the sick. We will never run out of needs. So the more funding we get, the more needs we can fulfill. We need priests to celebrate the Eucharist. And if the Eucharist is the center of our life, then we will be on our knees praying for more vocations to the priesthood. God so much wants to encounter us through the Blessed Sacrament. He says time and time again, peace be with you. And yet we live in a world in which so many people are not at peace. So he gives us the Son who gives us the Eucharist so we might know that deep abiding peace. Jesus has come to set his people free. He has come to give them life by giving us his life, by sharing with us his body and his blood that we may have joy and have it to the full. He sacrificed himself for us on the cross to free us from the grip of sin and death. He looks at us with eyes of love and he says, go forward and sin no more. Despite such lack of faith and even evils in the world, in the background, God says, I love you so much, I will never, ever abandon you. When you receive the communion, you need to be transformed because we are what we consume and you are going to share this, to transmit this good news to the people. Jesus is alive, Jesus is with us. Jesus wants us to be builders of the city of love. Fall in love with Jesus in the Eucharist and it'll change everything. How great is our Lord. Thank you for your generosity to our Catholic appeal. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. <music>